on the Mark 68 with you asking the question, why do we love sports so much? This country is obsessed with sports. A lot of it's not so good, but a lot of it is good. There's a reason we love sports. And I was trying to think of this, uh, kind of running down the reasons why I love sports. And I came up with a list of six. Number one, the competition. That's the most important thing. The competition. I'm a competitive guy. I think we as Americans and it's human nature to be competitive and want to win. So we naturally want to see the best compete at the highest level. So in the fourth quarter of NBA playoff games, it's nice to see that those guys finally step up to the plate and uh, compete at the highest level, at, at least at that point after 82 regular season games of kind of loafing around for the most part. But the competition being number one. Number two, the strategy. The hitter, the pitcher. You know, baseball strategy much more involved than most people think, unless you're a big baseball fan. Of course, the football strategy, obvious. Basketball, you know, on the high school and college level, they do strategize a bit. They run plays, they run offenses, and uh, the strategy, the strategy, trying to outguess the coach, trying to second guess the coach, trying to make the moves before they make the moves. The strategy, number two. Number three, we like the physicality of the sports. This has to do with competition, but this is also has to do with uh, something I heard a few years ago. Take no offense, ladies, but... There's a reason why we watch male sports over female sports. That's because we like to see people that run really fast. We want to see the fastest. We want to see the strongest. We want to see the biggest. We want to see the ball hit the furthest, thrown the hardest. It's amazing to us. If we can see a guy that can do a 360 windmill jam, we can't even imagine doing that. That's fun to see the physicality of the sport. Number four, the, the organization of the sports. Maybe, maybe I'm different on this one, but you know, the, the divisions, the conferences, how the, the wild card race is shaping up, the, the, the intricacies of the organization of sports, and then taking that into the front office, the trades, the free agent signings, the drafting, the recruiting, the organization of sports. So that's number four. Number five, the history. The history. Of course, baseball has a rich history. College football has a rich history. The NFL history is growing, and you see this on ads a lot, especially with baseball, also now with the NFL, where they like to pull us back. They like to pull us back in time because we're drawn by the nostalgia. The history would be number five. Number six, not real a big thing for me, is the celebrity status. We have brought up athletes into a celebrity status along with movie stars and rock stars. That doesn't necessarily appeal to me, but to a lot of people, it's very interesting. And I've got to admit, at times, it's a bit enticing following the saga of an A-Rod or a Mark McGuire or a Terrell Owens. They, they keep us guessing, and they keep it fun sometimes. Sometimes they annoy us, but they keep it interesting. This is a deep subject. I think we could talk about this a lot. I just kind of hit the surface with why we love sports. Would love to hear why you love sports. Talk to me. I'm on the mark, 68.